Hi, right, we wanted to do a short video today just explaining the EQ graphs that we have for some of the sound demos that are on the site. They're fairly complicated and take a bit of explaining, um, but hopefully you'll kind of understand what they're doing after Kent explains them a little bit. Thank you. Well, the bottom line of the graphs you'll look at is your frequencies or your hertz or your, or your frequencies is a better way to talk. And these graphs are an amalgam of the pickup over chords. So it's not showing you really the peak resonant frequencies. So if you divide that graph into three sections of high, medium and low frequencies, uh, the human ear can hear anywhere from 20 to 20,000 hertz. So these graphs are uh, pretty comprehensive and you will see the subtle differences as Aaron just said. The upper or the y-axis is the amplitude or power of those frequencies. And you can see how they drop off quite quickly toward the high end of the spectrum heading for 20,000. If you could hear 20,000 it would certainly be very painful. It does take some getting used to and overlapping them so you can understand the low frequency, high frequency and middle range. And you'll notice most pickups are very in the middle range for power. So just to be clear, so these graphs are not representing one note, they're not representing one chord, they're representing essentially the sound file that we've heard and the right. it's whole an amalgam. spectrum, yeah, the whole spectrum yes. of the chords that were played during that sound file. Yes. Okay, so it gives kind of a holistic view of the, what those various different chords, where they were peaking, where they were. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. So you, you don't, you cannot judge it as a, a snapshot of just one note or a snapshot of just one chord played. It's, it's, so it's where it tends to be. So say on the HSDO, the distortion pickup, you can see that the decibel level is higher for a longer period compared than on to the, the other two pickups. Compared to the STV. So yes. that's essentially saying that that whole pickup sample or demo is louder, which obviously you would expect from a distortion pickup. Absolutely, yes. And you'll find that the standard uh, HPAO is basically somewhere in between those, the Strat and the Super Distortion pickup. Its volume is lesser than the, H, yeah. uh, the Super Distortion and, of course, greater than the Stratocaster pickup. I think that all makes a lot of sense, and hopefully that makes sense to you guys, and hopefully <laughs> you'll get something out of them. Thanks very much.